Hello, I'm Sue Hitchcock and I'm a civil engineer and I'm working on the Thames Tideway Tunnel project. So here I am in front of the River Thames, which is a historic and iconic part of the City of London. It's what people think about when they think of the City of London. So London has an old Victorian sewage system that was built in Victorian times by um, Sir Joseph Bazalgette and in recent years the population has grown and we've also paved over a lot of the open areas so now as little as two millimetres of rainfall means that the existing system overflows into the River Thames. There's a lot of people that use it so we have a number of rowing clubs, um, people walking along the foreshore and we want to make it a place where people can um, have leisure facilities, leisure activities and and use the river without health risks. We want to create a cleaner river where the fish um, can thrive. At the moment there's uh, approximately 39 million tonnes of sewage goes into the river every year. The fish and various plants are not able to survive in those conditions. So the project is a tunnel that runs from Acton in West London out to Beckton in East London and it's about 22 kilometres in length and it's about 7.2 metres internal diameter and that's large enough to house three London buses. The tunnel will take the flows that are currently discharged into the River Thames and take them out to East London for treatment. I have a team of people that are looking at the interfaces with all the third party assets. So all the existing bridges, tunnels, utilities, river walls um, that are already in place. As we build the project, um, we have to look at the impact of our project on the existing infrastructure. There's already a, a lot of underground tunnels in London, including the tube tunnels, um, some large communications tunnels, and some water tunnels. Um, and so we have to be careful as we construct our project not to cause any damage to those assets. I first was interested in engineering when I was at school and I enjoyed doing maths and physics and enjoyed the challenge of solving problems. And so when I was looking at university courses, I decided that doing engineering would be an interesting subject. The favourite part of my job is working with lots of people and taking a problem and providing a solution, which is not always straightforward and sometimes can take quite a long time, um, but it's always very satisfying when that solution is achieved.